Hello, hello! It's Stamping with Jennifer Sinceri. It's Monday night. Are you guys ready for some stamping fun? <clears throat> if you're watching the live, please comment and let me know where you are watching from. Hey, Stacy, go ahead and give me a like or a love. And if you would share this video, I would really appreciate that. That helps my business to grow. Tonight, we are going to look at making alternative designs using the Hello Pumpkin uh, Paper Pumpkin Kit. This is the September kit. And I'm excited to show you what I came up with. Okay. I don't know if you guys have opened your kit. It is, it is loaded, loaded to the brim with supplies. Um, I had ordered two of these. I always order two, one for myself and one for my daughter. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have so much, so many materials. I think I'm gonna be making um, Halloween fall themed um, cards or treat boxes for months. <laughs> All right, so um, for those of you who have not opened your kit or maybe you are not a subscriber and you're curious, uh, this is what it looks like when it comes to you. You get an ink spot, you get the supplies, and then you get a stamp set. And I'm looking for my stamp set. There it is. Here it is, hiding under all my plethora of materials. Okay, so you always get a stamp set. You can tell mine is used. Um, and this is my second kit I haven't opened up yet. All right, so there's some really cute, cute stamps here. There's a pumpkin, which you can turn into a jack-o'-lantern with the face if you want. And there's a smaller face. There's some leaves, some flowers, the witch hat. <clears throat> this one says, have a happy Halloween. Give thanks. Hello, pumpkin. Trick or treat, spooky and sweet. Okay, so those are the stamps. And then I'm not going to open this one right now. But I just want you to see what it looks like. If I can get my hands to cooperate. Ah! There we go. It always comes sealed, and which is great because it protects your materials if there's any um, water damage. And so you'll see there's embellishments in here. You get your adhesives. There's actually a full sheet of dimensionals, dimensionals in here, glue dots, and then these little sticky strips. These were the treat boxes, and they're all scored for you. And then there are a ton of die cuts in here. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <clears throat> are you ready? Are you excited? I am. Let me show you uh, what I came up with. One thing that I highly suggest whenever I'm putting together my paper pumpkin kits, I always get all of the die cut materials <clears throat> and I start to punch them out. Now, um, what I did this time, because there was so much, these are, these are muffin tins that I bought at Goodwill. And I use them to help sort things for me. And this is, this is all of the stuff that's left over. And I have made 14 cards and a couple treat boxes already. This is crazy, you guys. So much stuff. So I've been sorting it, but there were so many that I'm actually having to share. And then you can see I, I saved these, and I'm going to show you why I saved these, because I actually did something with this. You might have decided, oh, I'll just throw those away. These are what come out of your treat boxes, and I'm going to show you what I did with those. It truly was a labor of love. Okay, <clears throat> so the treat boxes, they are reversible. You get Cajun craze for Thanksgiving. You get pumpkin pie for Halloween. Okay. You don't have to do Halloween if you don't celebrate Halloween. You could use the pumpkin pie for fall as well. So 
<clears throat> and guys, forgive me. My allergies are going crazy. I have been <clears throat> miserable for days. So I'm sorry if I keep clearing my throat. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna punch out these little triangles, okay? And they come out fairly easy. You may wanna save these because I'm gonna show you what you can do with those triangles, all right? And I'm gonna put those in my little cookie or muffin tin. Okay, now like I said, everything is pre-scored, okay? So you're gonna want to fold. And if you have a bone folder, this would be a great time to use it. My bone folder has walked away. It grew legs. God only knows where it is right now. Um, yeah, I have no idea where it is. Maybe Leia the Crafty Kitty decided to take it. Who knows? All right. Stacy's probably laughing at me because she knows Leia. And she loves to come join in on the crafty goodiness. <clears throat> okay, so these are um, fairly easy. Why is this one not wanting to work for me? I did that side. This one is not wanting to fold very. There we go. I just had to pay attention to what I was doing. Okay, I think I've folded everything. Okay, so this would make, these are a cracker styled treat box. <clears throat> Think of the Christmas English crackers that some people use. Okay. And then you would fill this, you would tie one end. Okay. See how close together that gets. You would tie one end and fill it up with candies and then tie the other end. So that's what they would look like. And then you decorate them. Um, I decorated two because I'm going to send them to my, my two elementary age nieces. And I just did very simple. Um, I know some people did much more elaborate designs. I just put the jack-o'-lantern on one side. And then I said, hello, pumpkin. And then I'm going to fill it up. I haven't filled mine up yet. And then I've tied one end, and then I'm going to tie the other end when I'm done filling. So that's Amelie and Kyla's little treat boxes that they're going to get in their care package this month. Okay, so really easy. <clears throat> a lot of people have, like I said, decorated them quite fancier. Um, adding more, more stuff to it. But what I'm going to show you, I'm going to undo this. I'm actually going to show you how to make another type of 3D item with this. And I'll probably send one of these to my nieces as well. So. After you punch out the triangles, what you're going to do is you are going to cut on one side, okay? You're just going to cut down the middle of that score line. <clears throat> okay? You're going to keep this piece because you're going to use it for some of your cards, believe it or not. And I'm going to show you. Okay? I'm all about being resourceful. Okay, now, this is going to be a four-sided lip balm holder. Yep, you heard me, lip balm. So I'm going to go to Dollar Tree and buy some cute little lip balms for my nieces and put those in here. Okay, because, you know, uh, it's going to get cooler outside and you know how little kids are they're always licking their lips and getting them chapped so they're going to get some fun lip balm from auntie oh all right jennifer slow down here we go so what i just did was i put adhesive on this end and you're gonna save two panels Okay, so I'm just folding it on those creases. And then the next panel goes there. And I'm putting my thumb in there and I'm just pressing it. 
Now I'm going to put some adhesive on this panel. And I'm using the stamping seal. You could use the stamping seal plus if you want. And then in your kit, there's also some stamp adhesive strips you could use if you want. Okay, now we're going to want to get some glue dots because I felt like that was easier. And we're going to seal this bottom part. This is the bottom. Okay, and I don't know if you guys have done this. I have just tied a little piece of baker's twine around this and then I just pulled this back and that reveals my glue dot. And when it gets too long, I just tear it off, throw it away. Okay, so that keeps my glue dots from um, getting stuck on other things that they're not supposed to be getting stuck on. All right, so I just put a glue dot there and I'm gonna press that down. And if I had my handy dandy, I'm, um, I guess I could try this. I'm putting my, this is the don't hurt yourself tool. I'm using the other end to just press that down. Okay. And then let's put another glue dot. Lip balm is not heavy, you know, so I'm not really worried that I need to use super duper adhesive. But if you are, this one's doubled, then by all means use your Stamping Seal Plus. Where'd my glue dot go? There it is. Okay, and then we're gonna use one more. <laughs> And this one got double too, so we'll put one more. You could also use liquid glue, but for the sake of time right now, because liquid glue takes a while to dry, I'm not doing it. You guys could do it, but I'm not going to do it. So then I'm going to pop my um, lip balm, Dollar Tree, pop it in there, and voila! It fits perfect and then tie that off and then you're gonna start decorating this so let me show you let me show you what mine look like okay so I did a Halloween one with the cat we are cat lovers and so what I did was I took my one and a half punch and this is the moon so I cut that on yellow cardstock made a moon took my cat and what I did was the cat looked kind of funny with the legs hanging out like that so I ended up cutting her legs off I know don't tell my cats but it looks like she's laying right it looks like she's laying down like on a fence and then I stamped my little banner isn't that super cute so cute right and it took it does take one cracker container. You're just making it tighter and smaller. I'll show you in comparison. This is the regular size cracker, and then this is my lip balm holder. Okay? This would be so fun to pass out to coworkers if you're still um, at the office. <laughs> um, I might... So some of the ladies that I talk with during the week, I might give them a little lip balm. I don't know. I haven't decided. And then I did one for just fall. When I saw this little die cut, it's supposed to be for sentiments. I saw a post postage stamp. I thought that looks like a postage stamp. <laughs> so I made myself a little fall postage stamp. I just cut a scrap of old olive from my scrap pile. I took one of the banners and I stamped the Hello Pumpkin and then I just cut off the, um, the ends and trimmed it with my scissors and made it look like that. So everything is 
Everything in here is from your kit, nothing additional. That's all from the kit. The only thing that was different here was I used a circle punch. Everything was from the kit. Okay, so that's my one 3D idea. Here's another alternate 3D idea, and then I'll show you the cards. I'm super excited about the cards. Okay, let me find my piece. Where did it go? Where did it go? I had another piece. There's, aha. Okay, so you're going to take, you're going to take another, um, let's move those out of the way. Another cracker box. Okay, I'm punching out the triangles. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, you guys. I have to keep clearing my throat. Okay. Save your triangles. Don't throw them on the floor. And now, what you're going to do is you're going to cut, just like we did before for our lip balm holder, you're going to cut here. But now this time, you're going to cut here. So you're going to cut um, on both sides. So you're going to have a piece that looks like that. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. I don't want to cut this one because I'm going to use it, um, for something else. And then you're going to get two of these out of one piece. Okay. So you're going to cut this and you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six panels. And then what I want you to do is cut that in half, okay? So you would end up with two of these. I've already used one, and I'm going to show you what to do, okay? So fold on the score lines, and then we're going to fold, and you're like, what is she doing with that little tiny piece? I know. I have not gone crazy, you guys, really. I was just really trying to think outside the box, literally outside the box. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to glue these in like that. And I'm making a little tray, a little boat. And you're like, okay, what is she going to do with that? All right, so what I would suggest, I would use glue dots. Like I said, liquid glue takes a while. So I don't have the patience for that. I would use liquid glue. I'm sorry, I would use glue dots, not liquid glue. Okay, there's one side. All right, see how I did that? I bet you guys are like boggled. What is she going to do with this little thing? So I was just thinking of another way to use these treat boxes if you didn't want to do cracker boxes. And I'm just, just trying to give you guys options. Okay. You will see. All right. There's my little tray. Move that out of the way, and this is what I did. I decorated my tray. I used one of the little postage stamp die cuts, and I stamped Have a Happy Halloween on it. I put two of the little pumpkins on here and gave them a jack-o'-lantern face, okay? And then watch this. I made a little bag of candy. Uh, these bags I actually bought at Dollar Tree. Uh, they look like this. And they have Halloween ones, fall ones. I don't think, I don't think there's a, like a, I don't know that they have like a, I must have thrown away the tag. I think there's 10 in here, 10 in here for a dollar, but it looks like more than 10. Maybe it's 20. I have no clue and I'm not going to count them. I filled it with candy corns. One side is blank and the other side is printed. And I put some of the baker's twine on here. And then I 
put it in my little boat and it's a favor. So if you're having friends over, maybe you're not because of COVID, but you could do this. You could turn this into Thanksgiving and have them on your table. You could write people's names on them and they could be a name um, placeholder. I just thought it was kind of cute. Another little idea for <clears throat> using those cracker containers. And you would get two out of one. So it's another way to maybe extend the life of your kit. Okay, so you've got the crackers, which mine are not finished because I still have to fill them with treats. Okay, and I could probably embellish mine a little bit more. You have these little treat guys. I saw somebody else put a, a small cookie in here. That would be a really small cookie, but that's what they did. They put cookies in there. And then my lip balm holders. So those are the 3D projects. Now let's look at cards. Okay. <clears throat> the only thing that I pulled that was not from the kit was some cardstock. I also pulled <clears throat> my two and one fourth circle punch. I also used an embossing folder. You could use any embossing folder that you have that you want to use. I believe I pulled the tasteful touches one. Okay. Um, and we're going to make a card super fast, super fast. So I took whisper white and mine's going to open this way. Okay, and then I took a <clears throat> four by uh, five and a quarter. This is four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to glue that onto my card base so you can see the texture there. Isn't that pretty? Very simple, yet it gives it um, something interesting to look at than just plain cardstock. I always love to do the, the embossing folders if at all possible. I really feel that it adds an element to your cards that is so easy to do and it just steps them up. Okay, then remember I told you to save these pieces from your um, lip balm holder. Okay, what I did was I just cut off this triangle. It's not a triangle, but triangle wannabe pieces. And made it a little bit shorter. Instead of six, I cut it to three. So that's what I'm using. Okay. To give it, I like the little scallop. So let's go ahead and adhere this down. All right. Then I'm taking one of those yellow doilies and I'm going to place that on top slightly above because I want the scallop to show. This one's a little bit harder to use the um, stamp and seal so I'm going to pull out the liquid glue for this and I'm just going to lightly, lightly is the key very lightly put some on here because it does go through but it will dry clear as long as you don't glop it on okay make sure your hands are clean because it's sticky and it will um, take any anything from your hands and put it onto your paper and you don't want that all right, now these little curly Q vines, we're gonna glue those around here. Come here, you. And I'm using two of the cinnamon cider ones and a green. 
I had a lot of these cinnamon cider ones left over. So that's what we're going to use. Just very lightly. And you could always take a pair of tweezers to hold these if you're worried about getting your glue on your hands. You could do that. Okay. All right. All right, let's do this one. And I'm not even putting the liquid glue on all of this, just like those loops. All right, and we'll do this last one. Don't forget to give me a comment. Let me know that you're watching. I would love to hear who's watching me tonight, where you're from, how did you find me, and if you feel so inclined to help my business, it would be wonderful if you would share the video with your friends. Okay, I'm going to take one of the baby pumpkins because I used all of my um, big pumpkins up. They're all used up. So we're going to use a baby pumpkin and then we're going to add some green leaves. And I think I want it to go this way. All right. We'll do the other one. I'm doing the liquid glue here because I feel like it is a little more forgiving. I can move things around if I need to. Now those are pretty big for that little baby pumpkin, but um, we're going to add a couple more things here. So hopefully it'll make it look better. Okay, now I'm going to add an orange flower. I'm just going to kind of place these where I think they should go. I think that's going to be too big there. and. Maybe a yellow one up here. I think we need maybe the Cajun Craze one there. And we'll put another one here. And maybe I need to pull um, another small one. Let's do, let's do, come on, let's see. Maybe like that. All right, so I'm going to glue these down. Just a little dab of glue. Boop. Now there's a flower stamp that you could use, but because I have so many die cuts left, I'm using up my die cuts. And I'm going to pick this up because it's starting to stick to my fingers. And I need to glue this one down. And then we'll glue this one down. And I'm going to save that for last because I want to put one little stamp on here. Oh, and I forgot to grab my block. They're downstairs, so we'll use this one. Okay, and I think I'm going to say... Hmm, I think I'm just going to do Hello Pumpkin on this one. So it could just be a Thinking of You card. It doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be holiday related. It could just be I'm Thinking of You in the month of October. That's all. And then I could do my Cajun Craze, or I could do my Pumpkin Pie. I think I'm going to go with Cajun Craze. All right, and I hate these blocks. They're, um, these are the ones that come in your paper pumpkin kit. These are the older ones. Now they give you, I think, a thicker one. All right, I'm going to say, 
Hello, pumpkin. Okay. And then we'll do that last flower. Now you could also add um, some embellishment, a little more embellishment if you want. And if you love bling, you could add pearls to the centers of your flowers or rhinestones. Um, I'll show you what the rhinestone would look like. Those are the rhinestones. Let me get my pearls. I know they're over here somewhere. Or the pearls. The pearls might not show up so well. I think I'm going to do the rhinestones, but these were ones left over from a paper pumpkin kit. I'm going to grab our standard one because there's a smaller size in here. So let's pull some of these. All right, I don't want to use that. I want to use this. I'm going to use my U pick tool. Okay. What do you guys think? Do you like that? Yeah. I have two on me. Okay. And come on. And then we've got two more. Because if you do one, you have to do them all, right? I mean, I guess you didn't have to but I think I'm gonna do them all okay there's that card super duper easy isn't that sweet very sweet okay are you ready for my other cards are you ready to get wowed all right I was trying to come up with all these different ideas that I could show you all right so there's that one Here's another one. So I used those black lace panels. I ended up actually taking a ruler and drawing a very light pencil line on here so that I would have them lined up evenly. And then I erased the pencil. That was my little trick with that one. Okay. And that background was a scrap I had. It was Mango Melody. Okay, here's another one. I think this one is one of my favorites. So I used the same embossing folder here and I did that little postage stamp look. Okay. So there's that one. There's this one. Here's that piece that I recycled from our treat boxes and I added that and I added it down here too. Okay, everything was from the kit except the, the bumblebee and the black DSP. Okay, now this one, I didn't put any sentiment on it. I was kind of going for that candy corn look. And I added in a black cat. We just, we love cats, so I used my cats up. And then this was that cracker, again, cutting off all the side strips, and then I just made it into a pendant. Super duper easy. Okay. Um, here's another one. Just added some DSP to that. Added a little bit of lace in there. Here's another white one, but it's different. So this one I said, give thanks. And I used the um, Cajun Craze strip scrap there. And I used the yellow doily. And I didn't put rhinestones on my flowers for this one. Just another option. Okay, this one is the same design as this one. Just one's Halloween and one's Thanksgiving. Hey, Cindy. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. All right. Here's another one. 
That's more of your cracker box. And here I added pearls, so you can see the difference, the pearls versus the um, rhinestones. Here, I made a wreath with all those flowers. And some of these are raised up with um, dimensionals. If I were to do this one again, I probably would not have put the pendant on both sides. It kind of bothers me. I think it would have looked better without it. All right. This is another one I really like. And I did a double bow here, added some rhinestones. I think I have like 14 cards total. There's another one. This one, instead of using the dies, I used the stamp that came in the kit. So that's just the die. I'm sorry, the stamps. All right, and then remember those little triangles I told you to save? Remember from all your little cracker boxes? Are you ready for this? This was a labor of love. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know what I was thinking. But you could totally do a Thanksgiving card just doing it. The um, And I didn't get to, around to doing that. But doing the other side, you could do the Cajun craze and totally change up your design and come up with a Thanksgiving card with this. It seemed a shame to throw all of those little triangles away. Okay, those are my cards, you guys. What do you think? Do you like it? Give me a heart if you love them. Okay. I hope I have inspired you. Lots of different ideas. Which one's your favorite? Give me a, a comment. Tell me which one is your favorite. Which car do you think is the, the one that speaks to you the most? I would love to hear. I would love to hear. All right, guys. That is all I have for you. That is it. All those cards. And then we did our... Our little treat holder okay our little treat holder and we did our lip balm that's our one that I built there's my other one there's my other one our little lip balm holders okay and then your original cracker box okay guys thanks for joining me tonight and um Oh, before I let you go, I have some other things. I have a couple housekeeping things I need to talk to you about. So don't go yet. I forgot. Let me tell you some upcoming Stampin' Up! info, okay? Let me move these out of the way. All right. Move that out. This is my host code. So if you're going to place an order, please use this code um, because that helps me. If your order is going to be $150 or more, then don't use the code. I want you to claim your own host rewards, okay? Um, all right, right now, during this month, there is a sale, okay? There is a sale, oops, upside down. There's a sale for DSP on selected packs of paper. Um, I don't know about you, but any little bit of a discount is helpful. So if you know that you're going to want paper to work on some of your projects, this is the time to do it because this is the only time we do the paper sale. It's once a year. Okay. We, we do the stamp sale once a year and we do a paper sale once a year. So artistry blooms is on sale. Tis the season, Forever Greenery. I know that's Gail's favorite. Hi, Gail. Uh, Poinsettia Place is on sale. And I just did a card, an anniversary card, using some of the paper from here. So it's not just Christmas. I also did some masculine birthday cards with this um, paper. Trimming the Town, which is just wintry. Plaid Tidings, which 
is great for all holidays. Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Valentine's Day, and, and even Easter. There's some springy colors in here, too. Um, we also have the Toil Tidings, Peony Garden, which would make lovely anniversary or wedding cards. Whale of a Time. Love this pack of paper. This is great for birthdays. Thinking of you. Heartwarming Hugs. Uh, Magic in the Night. This is the Halloween pack of paper. There's also some sheets in there that aren't necessarily Halloween if you turn them over on the other side. Snowflake Splendor. I am going to do a lot of winter cards with these for January. The In Good Taste. This is all basics. This is, um, this comes with a lot of paper in it, actually, too. You get a lot of paper. And then it's a bit higher. It's $17.95. Um, regularly $21. Playing with Patterns. This is a fun birthday pack of paper thinking of you and then our playful pets cats and dogs okay which this would be great for sympathy cards for pets um also great for birthdays thinking of you get well and i mean you could use it for anything so there's the sale on the paper now there's another thing that's going to be coming soon all right, so if you're a demonstrator, you get to do this now. And if you are not a demonstrator of your customer, this is going to be available November 3rd. All right, so this is a sneak peek of something that's coming in the brand new catalog. Okay, I know. Everyone gasp. Look at these dies. Look at that. Isn't that cool? All right, and there's stamps that go with it. There's Christmas paper that's only going to be available during this, uh, what do you call it, promotion, okay? It's not going to be in any catalog. It's just during the promotion. So this is a stamp set and dies. It's a, called the Quite Curvy Bundle. And then there's a Christmas stamp set with paper. This is only available during the promotion. This is coming up in the brand new catalog. So what they're doing is they are giving you an early release on some products. So this is the early release. And then they've created coordinating products that go with it. So the dies are the same for both of these stamp sets. This is sold as the bundle, and then if you want to extend your dies, you would buy this stamp set as well because it goes with this one. And then they came out with the new DSP, all right? So this is available to demonstrators now for the month of October. And then if you are not a demonstrator, if you are a customer, you could order it November 3rd. If you want to see what it looks like and you're not into early releases, that's fine. It's going to be in the catalog. The only thing is you won't get the Christmas stamps or the Christmas paper. Those will not be available after, um, it says available July 3rd through January 4th. I just want to make sure. I have to look on the paperwork to see. Okay, I'll have to verify on the Christmas stuff, but it said... I thought I read only during the promotion. All right, so that's coming up. And then I wanted to give you a heads up. This is one of my next online classes. It's free to you to watch, just like any of my Facebook Lives. But if you purchase the kit, then I give you a free PDF with the directions and pictures and dimensions as well, okay? And I just, I thought I grabbed my kit to show you. Eh, it's somewhere. This is, it makes 30 tags, 30 tags. But what I always like to do is show you guys alternatives. So I'm gonna actually show you how to make some cards using the materials in this kit as well. I like to show you how you can extend the life of your kits, okay? So that's coming up. Um, October 24th. 
All right, that's a Saturday. And then another class that's coming up in November. This is free, but like I said, if you purchase the products, then you get the free PDF that goes with it. I am going to be creating cards using the Boho Indigo Product Medley Refill Kit. You don't have to buy the whole medley, which is $70. The refill kit is, hmm, I want to say 30 something. I can't remember off the top of my head. I love this blue and white paper. I love that. I just think it's gorgeous. I just ordered mine. So when it gets here, I'll show you guys. And then I'm excited about this because I'm a purple lover. I know that Stacy is. I know that Gail is. We all love purple. Um, and Gail, you've made cards with this kit. This is the Gorgeous Posies Project Kit. They give you designs for the cards, but I'm also going to show you other things to do with the stamp set. And I'm going to show you alternative card designs. Okay, so that's going to be in December. Now, obviously, I will be online more than just those times. But those are some things that I've planned. Um, and then I try and get on once a week, once every other week with some other goodies. Okay. All right. I hope you had fun. Have a good rest of your evening, guys. It's almost 7 o'clock. So uh, rest up and relax. You guys deserve it. Have a great week. Bye.